very funny. If you're a regular here, you see him all the time. My good friend, Dave Power. Yeah! Yeah! All right, guys, got it. Meathead, how you doing tonight? <laughs> nice to see you folks. Nice to see you. How we doing over here table number three? We doing all right? Good, glad to hear it. Last time I was up here, someone asked me, say, hey Dave, what the hell are you doing up there telling jokes? I'm just doing it until my modeling career takes off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want to see if any gum, let me know. Just stick your hand about it. I got pretty good aim. So I turned on the TV the other day, and what do I see? Fat lesbians, skinny lesbians, freaks, hairies, douchebags, fairies, and an offensive tackle dressed in a miniskirt. How you doing? <laughs> this is daytime TV, folks. What a freaking mess. Who watches reality shows? Who likes reality shows? Don't all jump up at once, all right? That was the audience participation part of the program, all right? <laughs> Yeah, you know, those three fat ass sisters, I don't know how they got that show. I kind of figured out how they got it. I would have loved to have been there at that production meeting. Um, let me get this straight. If I let you film me sucking that guy's dick, I'm gonna get my own TV show? That's right, honey. You and the whole friggin' family. I'll tell you what, if you do a good job, We'll throw the uh, Olympian in for a bon extra bonus. How's that? <laughs> well, okay. Now get to work, you sloppy sword swallower. And that's how we got the show, the chick with the wedding, with the idiot who just got, got divorced. That's how that happens. <laughs> hey, but, a friend of mine maybe watched one of those reality shows the other day. You heard a show called The Millionaire Matchmaker? You ever see that show? Yeah. Where you get a bunch of dysfunctional douchebags, rich douchebags who get thrown to a fucking pack of gold digging assholes. You've seen that show, right? And you get that one burly Jap from New York. You know, Jap is a Jewish American princess, you West Coast people. And she's sitting there abusing these people. Like, she get that one bro on, she's like, why did you suck that guy's dick? Why did you suck that guy's dick? You were supposed to go after the ring around his finger, not the ring around his cock. Now get off my show, you dumb slut. <laughs> So I feel kind of like, you know, um, I'm disappointed because I'll never, you know, be on a show like that. I don't have that kind of cash. <laughs> so I figured, let me come up with my own show. It's the uh, Blue Collar Matchmaker, uh. where like every guy can go on it, right? I would be the host. It would go like this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dave Power, and welcome to another episode of Blue Collar Matchmaker. On today's show, we got <laughs> Nick Capoletti from Scranton, Pennsylvania. <laughs> He worked his way up, he started at the bottom, worked his way up to own his own set pool cleaning service. You basically stepped in shit, isn't that right, Nick? Uh, yeah. That was pretty exciting, Nick. Thanks for playing along with us today. Uh, so Nick, what kind of girl are you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for a really hot chick, uh, uh, who moves fast and likes my moves. Hey, where'd you get those moves from uh, there, Nick? Crawling out of shit pits in front of people's houses? Uh, and now let's bring on the ladies. <laughs> the first lady, her name is Gal. She's from Parsippany, New Jersey. She's a shut -in. hasn't left the house in 14 years. She collects kitty litter and fur balls. Say hello to your Dave Carroll. <laughs> Hi. What do you think, Nick? Pretty exciting? Uh, and let's bring on the second lady. She likes weightlifting, throwing darts, arm wrestling, and drinking beer with the boys. Her name is Bruce. <laughs> hey, sweet pants, how you doing? What do you think, Nick? Uh, and your third contestant. Her name is Tiffany. She's a Las Vegas stripper. She's unemployed, and she's raising her four children. Bradley, Kumar, Jose, and Antoine. <laughs> she's looking for a guy to take care of them all, and she's been a stripper in Las Vegas for the last 14 years. Say hello to Nicholas. Hi. Uh. <laughs> okay, Nick, what do you think? Is it gonna be Carol? <laughs> Is it going to be Bruce? Hey, sweetie! <laughs> or is it going to be Tiffany? Clock's running, Nick! Uh, 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 I'll take Tiffany. Great, Nick! That was a fucking match made in the trailer park. Thanks for having us, and come on, we'll see you next week what happened on the day. Thanks for coming to the Blue Collar Matchmaker. <laughs> Folks, before I go tonight, I just got the light. I'd like to give a little public service announcement. Domestic violence is wrong. 
It's a horrible situation. Everybody loses. If you ever get in that situation, just please walk away. Recently, I had a fight with my ex-girlfriend. She's ex now, but back in the day we were going out. Things got real heated and ugly. Started throwing things, yelling, screaming. It got really, really bad. Next thing I know, she, she punted the family jewels for a 40 yard field goal. And being a Miami Dolphins fan, you guys know how that feels, right? <laughs> so after we recovered, the only thing I can say is uh, we had the best sex ever. The makeup sex was incredible. We had sex all over the house outside, in the garage, in the attic, kitchen, bathroom, everywhere, in every position imaginable, upside down, doggy, missionary. It was the greatest sex we've ever had. I told her all about it three days later when she woke up. <laughs> Folks, if you like what you saw tonight, some of you check me out like I'm the blue plate special at Denny's, so I don't blame you because I am the goods. <laughs> and some of you feel like stalking me, following me around like the Grateful Dead or the Dave Matthews Band. That's all right, I understand. But do us both a favor, you know, do the right thing. Bring me a sandwich, I like that shit. Folks, have a good night, enjoy the rest of the show.